learn how to name alkanes. Anyone that's ever taken Kim 2 can help you if you find yourself a little bit lost. But I think today you're going to walk out feeling a lot smarter than you do now. Or else a lot dumber. You won't be the same. I know that. So we're going to call this first part the first 10 alkanes. And yeah, you're going to need to know them. But by the time we have a test, you're going to know them. And that test will be late next week sometime. Maybe even after that. I don't know. Okay, the first alkane you want to know is methane. This formula is CH4. And the main thing you know, you already know him, because he's got one carbon. Next one is ethane. C2H6. I'm going to give you the expanded formula for some of them, but not all. After ethane is propane. Propane is C3HA. It's like this. After propane is butane. C4, H10, CH3, CH2. Now, the reason I'm not going to keep writing these is because it takes too long. All you got to do is add a CH2 in the middle. We're just going to do the first 10. <coughs> After butane is pentane, C5H12. What do you think the next one is? Six. C6H. Yeah, and C6H14. Hexane. Oh, that's cool. C6H14. In fact, I'll give you an algebraic equation for finding that if you want it. Heptane. C7H16. I'm going to put these others over here. If it's got A, what do you think it's called? Octane. Octane. C8H18. With 9, it's called no name. C9H20. And with 10, it's called decane. C10H22. Now, I know it seems like a lot. But you're going to just come back and refer to it, and you're going to know it before long. If um, I want to know the molecular formula of one of these guys, say that you know, I don't know what the formula for octane is. Cn, H2n plus 2. If you're one of the math people that needs an equation for everything, here's this. You don't really need it, but there it is. It is the number of carbons. So if I said C8, what is H? You'd go 2 times 8 is 16 plus 2 is 18. If you want that, there it is. But it's not really that important. Because the main thing we care about is how many carbons everybody has. So if I spit out no name, you need to know that's 9. Butane is 4. Um, some of these you've heard of before, like methane we talked about in the last chapter. We know it's a gas. Propane. Is this gas, almost liquid, that's found in your propane tanks? What color are propane tanks? White, silver, tan. How come they're not black? Black is too hot. So maybe you've seen a propane tank like this. Maybe it's your grandparents' house. I know you've seen the barbecue. Ever seen one of those sitting out in the country somewhere? Yes. I know you've played on it before. We used to play horsey and ship and <coughs> shoot it with a BB gun. Don't they have like a propane guard out by fireworks? Yes, they do. Uh, out on uh, 20 uh, or near the, near the um, what is that called? Space and Rocket Center. They have a big propane tank yard. Go and see it sometime. And right by the fireworks store. I know the tanks probably are not full. You know, they're going to send them out there full. But still, it's, it's a weird picture to see that. So they're always light colored to help reflect the heat. Butane, that's for all you smokers, you know about that. Um, you can take some of these guys, you mix them up. Sometimes they're called LPGs. That stands for liquefied petroleum gases. Um, mixtures used for home heating, and sometimes you'll be riding down the interstate, and you'll come up on this big truck. You know, you're going 80 miles an hour, and all of a sudden, you're right here on this truck, and it says, danger, LPGs. You think, what happens if I do hit it? You're probably going to die. Um, this happened in Birmingham. 
I don't know, a few years ago, there was a car that hit a truck, or I don't know if the truck hit the car, or whose fault it was, but it was one of these LPG tank trucks, and the car they hit and they blew up. It happened right under the overpass of I-59 and, and 65. So it blew up the overpass. It was real convenient. So that anyone that went through Birmingham for several months had to take a big detour. You might remember, I don't know, you might have been 10 years old. I don't remember. But, what does LPG stand for? Liquefied Petroleum Gases. Uh, one other thing to notice, which one do you think is more liquidy, octane or methane? Octane. I butchered this this morning when I did it, but I said, as you increase the number of carbons, and when I say increase, the error going down sometimes messes people up, but I'm increasing the number of carbons, it becomes liquidier. <laughs> I made that up, so I don't know if that's even a word, but it is now. With fewer carbons, here's another word for you. What do you think it's going to be? Liquidier. Less liquidier. Gassier. Gassier. Less liquidier is another word. Um, I'll put gassier. Sounds like a bad word. Um, as far as melting point goes and boiling point stuff, these guys have the lower boiling points and melting points. And these have the higher ones. So you increase the carbons, it becomes more liquidy. Eventually it becomes solidy. Yeah. What is octane used for? It's a gas additive. It makes the gas burn a little more efficiently. It also tastes different like than regular gasoline. What I've heard. <laughs> um, I know of someone who's tasted um, high octane racing fuel and they said it tasted a lot different than regular gasoline. Um, that's a good question. It's a story for another day because I have a big story. That person happens to be your husband's going No comment. <laughs> so, here's your first 10 alkanes. Put them somewhere, leave them there, and we're going to refer back to them. Okay, part two is coming up. Right now, I have to pass out the candy, and people watching on YouTube get no candy. So, turn it off, and we'll have the other in just a minute.